Sponges by Emma C., Raymond D., and Nicole P. Sponges are invertebrates. Invertebrates are organisms without backbones. Sponges have spikes to protect and support their bodies. Sponges live in marine and freshwater ecosystems. Marine is saltwater and freshwater is freshwater. A sponge's environment consists of plants, fish, and a, con a consistent climate. Plants can be different kinds of seaweed. Fish can be tropical or freshwater. The climate does not vary. Instead, it has cold and warm currents. A sponge's role in its environment is to help tiny fish hide or protect themselves. PJ, will you please report to the office? Sponges have collar cells, spikes, pores, and jelly-like cells. Collar cells are cells that have little hairs that move water through the sponge. Spikes protect and support the sponge. Pores let water in and out of the sponge. Jelly-like cells distribute and digest food. A sponge can only move when it is a larva by the water currents. Then it, it then sticks to a rock and grows. One, an adult sponge releases sperm cells. <coughs> Two, the sperm cell enters another sponge. A sperm cell fertilizes an egg cell. Three, a larva de develops. Four, water currents carry the larva away. Five, the larva settles on a hard surface and develops into an adult sponge. A sponge obtains oxygen through its pores. They have little hairs that help oxygen move through them. A sponge filter feeds through a hole at the top of its body. It feeds on tiny fish and microorganisms. This is a picture of a healthy sponge. You can tell it is healthy because it's very colorful and it keeps its body healthy by keeping conditions stable. Sponges vary in sizes, shapes, and colors. It's their camouflage. And the sponge is also helpful to fish and or other organisms that need to hide or find shelter. There are three different types of sponges. The psychonoid, the leuconoid, and the asconoid. This is a leuconoid sponge. As you can see, there are little hairs on the top of the sponge to help it eat. This is part of a sponge's digestive system. This is how a sponge eats. A sponge gets its food from the hole on top of its head. To get rid of its waste, it goes through its pores and gets carried away by water currents. One interesting fact about leuconite sponges is that the most leuconite sponges live about 50 years, but some can live up to 200 years. This is a diagram of an asconite sponge. It has an osculum, which is where it leads to help the sponge eat. This is part of the digestive system. One life process of an asconite sponge is how it breathes. It breathes through its pores. The pores filter the water throughout the sponge's body. This is a part of the respiratory system. An additional fact about an asconite sponge is that an asconite sponge cannot filter the same amount of water that a psychonite sponge can of the same size. This is a diagram of a psychonite sponge. Psychonite sponges only have one osculum. The sponge gets rid of waste through the osculum. This is part of a psychonite sponge's digestive system. One life process of a psychonite sponge is the respiratory system. The sponge filter feeds by absorbing water through its pores, then pushing the water out of the osculum. One additional fact about a psychonite sponge is, is that it has no definite shape. We learned many new things while making this movie. We learned that sponges are living organisms, that they filter feed, and that they live in marine or freshwater ecosystems. The end.